All right, Ho Dad, this is the joint. How's the food? Food's amazing, and the story's even better. That's my kind of joint. This is the OB Noodle House. Ocean Beach is a really small beach community. They're very proud of their identity. This restaurant definitely fits in. 40 plus taps of really good beer. And what goes with beer? Of course, wings. Spicy garlic wings. The absolute best wings that I've ever had. OK, so what are we going to make first? We want to make the saute sauces that we use for our garlic wings. Start by uh, just turning off the fire. Whoa. It's pretty hot. Can't wear a little hair care product and be around that. OK, so hot oil? Hot oil, ground ginger. Okay. Into the hot oil, garlic. There we go. Brown lemongrass. Nice. nice. And then we got the ground onions. And then we stir this for about uh, 40 minutes. Who now stands we... here for 40 minutes and stirs this? So now it's sauteed down? Got our chili paste right here. Okay. Chili flake. I'm adding some heat right now. Seriously. You got the habanero. 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 I'll All be right. jumping bullet. OK. You be? Habanero. Habanero. All right, guys. All right. So what are you going to put in? All of it. Then we're bringing some more heat. So hot. Thai chili pepper. Next up? Peanut butter. Good okay. old peanut butter. Poison sauce. Just give it a sweetness to it. And a little color. And then uh, I'm going to stir it. How long is this going to cook down? Let it cook for an hour until okay. the oil start boiling. And then let it simmer in, get all the flavor for a day or so. It stays in there for a day? Yep. What are we going to make next? Wings. You got to look at these suckers. We prefer to use the mid thighs. We got some garlic, salt, pepper, sugar. Make sure we get all the wings in there. Now we add the chili oil saute we just made. OK, so let it marinate for a day. Yes, sir. And drop for a day. Fire. What temperature are we going to cook at? 350. 350. All right, so the wings are done. Now we put on the wok. My brother, Kyle, the wok master. OK, so hot oil. Garlic. We're going to put some pepper. You ready? Uh-huh. Some wings. Top of that, put a little seasoning, sugar, granulate, garlic, and white pepper. And this one, some green onions. And that's it. So nice little crisp, quick little saute. It's going to be a little spicy, but let me know how you like it. Get some ranch. Garnish it with some cilantro. Oh my gosh. Yeah. A little bit of heat, not too much. Good amount of spice to it, a little bit of sweet, just a little bit of the crispiness on the skin. They're tender, they're juicy, there's a lot of flavor, a lot of depth of flavor. I'm impressed. Tell me that wing is not the bomb. Yeah, that's excellent. That's not too spicy on the outside, but just the right amount of heat. Really, really good wing. So I'm here in Sparks, Nevada, just about a mile or two outside of Reno. I bet you they're doing some real deal barbecue. This is Carolina Kitchen and Barbecue Company. We did the chicken wing competition. We did first place for about five years. Five wing nachos up. The smoked wing nachos are awesome. Everything that you usually see on nachos now suddenly is on chicken. They're just devastating. We have our chicken wings. We're going to make our smoked wing nachos. We're going to rub them down with some oil. Oil only. That's it. Well, no salt, no pepper now. Not yet, because we're going to deep fry them. We don't want that char flavor on the rub. OK. That's a big wing. There's a couple wingless pterodactyls out there. Smoke them for about 45 minutes. 275. OK, come out of the smoker, into the fryer. All right, what are we into? Dry rub, which is half Cajun seasoning, half rib rub. This is our Cajun seasoning, paprika, salt, granulated garlic, black pepper, white pepper, onion powder, ground thyme, dry mustard, and chili powder. Got it. And we're going to go rib rub, salt, white pepper, paprika, black pepper, chili powder. This is going to get interesting in a second. Sugar? White sugar, brown sugar clumps. Granulated garlic. You don't find the burn on the white sugar? No, I like it. You've won competitions with this rub. I have. I won't tell anybody. Shh. Do a little half and half here. And this is what we're going to sprinkle on the wings. Hit it with some moonshine barbecue sauce, cheese, bacon. Pop it in the oven for a minute. OK. But where are the tortillas? There are no tortillas. The wing is the nacho. It has all the toppings on it. All right. This I got to see. Diced tomato. How are you going to get the tomato to stay on the chicken one? Green onion, spicy ranch, sour cream. It's a really good wing. I love the smoke, a little fry to it. The Nuzzi tortilla chip, you get the crunch of the outside of the wing. The cheese melts on really nice. Then you have the bacon sticking to it, so you get all best of both worlds all over it. You hit that moonshine sauce on there, which is dynamite. You get yourself some of the cool sour cream. That's one of the most unique dishes I've seen on Triple D, and you actually pull it off. Well done. Thank you. There's so much going on here, but it all works really, really well. Sour cream on a wing is delicious. It's something I haven't had. 
They're amazing. It's crazy, isn't yes. it? Yes. So I'm here in Des Moines, Iowa. I say Iowa, what do you think? Exactly, pork. I say pork, what do you think? Uh-huh, barbecue. I say Des Moines, Iowa, I say pork, I think barbecue, and I think about that team that's won almost every barbecue competition there is, and they've got a restaurant? That's right, this is Smokey D's. Barbecue nachos with pork. The food here is phenomenal. Half rack, bean and mac. It is a bonanza of barbecue bliss. Courtesy of champion barbecuers Darren Worth and Shad Curtin, two dudes who opened this joint in 2010. And at 11,000 square feet, well, I'm calling it the Swine Coliseum. This is nuts. Three full-blown smokers, 24-7. 24-7. That's a big Ferris wheel in Flavortown. The brisket pork, the ribs are crazy. And don't forget about the chicken. Asian smoked wings? They've got a real nice smoke flavor to them, and then they deep fry them. They've got a nice crunch at the end. But the whole coop come with this order? The whole coop. Mm. Not mine. And I like that you cook your wings crispy. Mm. It's fantastic. Cherrywood plays in perfect. Great spice, nice balance, subtle, not overdone. Great job, brother. Thanks. Great job. Asian smoked wings? The smoked wings are really juicy, really tender. I love the Asian glazed sauce. It's fantastic. You can see why they get awards for their food. There are a lot of trophies around here. You know you're getting something good. I'm really impressed that not only to see you in the barbecue competition circuit and how well you've done, but to see that you guys are the real deal, running your restaurant, making great food. Which means cooking up more than just Q. Apple dumpling. That apple dumpling is to die for. Just melts in your mouth. It's even better than my, my grandmother's. This is money. Well, you get that tang, you get a little bit of the crunch of the, of the dough, then you get some of the soft dough that's cooked in the syrup the entire time. Apple dumpling gang rides again. This rocks. Here's the apple dumpling. A little tartness, a little sweetness. It's just the perfect combination. It's just like a little taste of heaven. <laughs> Tenderloin with fries. It's just really a wonderful experience. Order up in the window. I love this place. You have got a real nice variety on your menu. And the food's legit, man. You are the real deal. Thank, Thank you. you. No wonder you win all the time.